Hi everyone, Mackenzie here from the Clarington Public Library, Curtis Branch, here with a story time short where I s sing one song and read one book. The book I'm reading today is The Library of Fish, and it was written by Alyssa Capusili and illustrated by Gladys Jose. And we are reading this with permission from a Paula Wiseman book, an imprint of Simon Schuster Books for Young Readers. Let's get started. Once there was a fish. She was not an ordinary fish. She didn't live in the sea or the ocean. She didn't live in the river or lake. In fact, when Mr. Hughes, the librarian, found her, he said, I'm not quite sure where you came from, but if you love stories, you've come to the right place. Some libraries have their lions, but this library will have you, fish. And there's the fish with a little note saying, love stories. Heard as it might be to believe, Mr. Hughes was sure the fish wiggled her tail. She may have even smiled. From that day on, she was known as the library fish. She made her home on the desk of Mr. Hughes. It was the perfect place to welcome all the visitors to the library. From where she sat, library fish could check each book that was borrowed and returned. Library Fish quickly grew to love story time. Mr. Hughes reads stories that make her laugh out loud. He reads poems that fill her with wonder. Mr. Hughes reads in a bold voice. He reads in a whisper. Library Fish met characters who were brave and kind, while others were daring, shy, or innovative. Library Fish learned about distant planets she may visit one day. Of course, Library Fish enjoyed an outing too. She loved days spent on the bookmobile. Winding through busy streets, Library Fish could feel the excitement of the crowd awaiting their arrival. I want an adventure. Poetry, please. Any books about puppies? What's the latest of the Wizzy Wizard series? I need a long book for a road trip. Mr. Hughes made sure everyone found just the right book. He always chose something wonderful to read aloud, too. Hard as it might be to believe, Library Fish was certain the bookmobile enjoyed a good story as much as she did. She could feel his engine rumble with joy. I think meerkats are cool. Are there any graphic novels? I'm learning to read, and this one is this person is asking for books in Spanish. One morning, Library Fish awoke bright and early. She waited for Mr. Hughes to arrive with his usual, Good morning, Library Fish. She waited and waited, but the library doors remained closed. Where could Mr. Hughes be? Library Fish looked out over the shelves. Every book sat patiently in its place. She looked out the long windows. Could it be there? For as far as she could see, was snow, thick snow, falling faster and harder than Library Fish had ever seen before. It reminded her of a story Mr. Hughes read. When snow fell so high and wide, it made the busy city streets come to a stop. Could snow make the library come to a stop too? There's little fish. There's a Library Fish. Library Fish swam around her bowl. She hummed a tune. She did some fancy spins. The snow kept falling. The library grew quieter and quieter. There was only one thing to do. The library may be closed to the outside, said Library Fish, but it is always open on the inside. There's a story waiting for me. I just have to find it. Library Fish jumped. She leaped. She wiggled. She didn't get fur at all. Hmm, she said. Library Fish remembered the story of a magic beanstalk. She reached and stretched. She climbed to the tip top of her bowl until she slid down with a plop. Ugh, maybe I can fly up, up and away like a superhero, said Library Fish. The thing was, she didn't have a cape. Library Fish looked out of her bowl. The moon peeked through the snowfall. That's it, said Library Fish. If a rocket ship can soar to the moon, maybe I can. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! she shouted. And with one big splash, Library Fish landed safely at the foot of a towering stack of books filled with 
all the possibilities of a great story, she set off at once. Library Fish looked over at the book curd. Some of the books were too high to reach. Some were too heavy. Library Fish went up and down the aisles. She passed shelf after shelf until she found just what she was looking for. There, in the Storytime Corner, were plenty of books ready for reading. Library Fish settled into a comfortable, cozy spot. She opened cover after cover. She turned page after page. She poured over wonderful illustrations, and before long, something extraordinary happened. Library Fish was just about to reach for one more story when she heard it. First, a beep, then a honk, and then vroom, vroom. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Library Fish said with a giggle. I'm not the only one around here who loves a good story. Who is she talking about? Library Fish chose some of her very favorite books, and although it was already being a night filled with adventures, she was sure that there was time for a few more. Library Fish read in a bold voice. She read in a whisper. She, re she read until she laughed out loud. She heard, read until she felt the bookmobile's engine rumble with joy. And before long, something extraordinary happened. What do you think is going to happen? <gasps> Look, they became a submarine and a spaceship. And look, they got their cape. cape, so now they're a superhero. When the first rays of sun began to shine, the very tired library fish climbed back into her bowl. She dreamed wonderful dreams until, good morning, library fish, said Mr. Hughes. Are you ready to welcome our visitors? She was ready indeed. Library fish smiled. She wiggled her tail, heard as it might be to believe Mr. Hughes was sure Library Fish yawned, too. Well, she's been up all night reading. Hello, Library Fish. I missed you, Library Fish. Oh, look. There's some the books that they were reading. And look, the bookmobile winked. The end. That was a cute book about a Library Fish. So now we're going to sing a song called Ten Little Fish. Are you ready? One little, two little, three little fish, four little, five little, six little fish, seven little, eight little, nine little fish, ten little fish swimming by me. Let's try that one more time. One little, two little, three little fish, four little, five little, six little fish, seven little, eight little, nine little fish, ten little fish swimming by me. Thanks for joining me, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. Bye! Mm -hmm.